What's happening, all you folks on the World Wide Web? My name is IPC. That stands for I Paint Creatures. Welcome to my weekly videos here. Uh, just still rambling and rumbling through my uh, vast, uh, you know, speed paint archives, uh, documenting my journey. Thank you all for always joining me on this fantastical artistic journey called life. Showing a bunch of my prints that are preparing for when I go out and uh, socialize with the public and uh, get my art out there. And a lot of those prints do really well. Uh, right now I'm working on a, a, a new uh, extension of the series that I call MetaZen. M-E-T-A-Z-E-N. And they're MetaZen, MetaZen creatures for the pandemic. And they're uh, basically like, you know, little medicine men, but medicine creatures, and they all have elemental elements, and uh, a lot of them are definitely always uh, based, this one is really based in my Japanese culture, uh, kind of has the, the oni feel, or the, you know, the fantastical feel of a yokai, which I define uh, and updated in my world as a, a, a strange inspirator. A uh, person who brings a remedy or a creature, an imaginative uh, form of a creature uh, that shows up and uh, can uh, act as an entity or a deity or most of all just a remedy a expression in life to remind you of certain things that you can uh, cure any ailments uh, if they be mental, physical, or emotional. But I'd like to s explore a quote today and I have a uh, ones that are basically uh, found some that are, are all about uh you know leadership and and not just the normal leadership i believe in the digital realm of nft and metaverse and all these virtual worlds that uh, definitely definitely were on the rise but came forward more in the pandemic are all about uh you know self-leadership and um, us figuring out how we all can be more uh territorial and domain oriented so we can come together like a, a fine old symphonic band or i grew up in a lot of hip-hop crews and a lot of rock and roll bands and and so uh pretty much i have always had the model of you know the the drummer the bass player the guitar player the keyboard player the lyricist and the percussionist uh horn section string section they all come in and uh they have all their own little flavor that they add to it and in a sense they're all leaders and i've always been a huge fan of what's called Dixieland music and uh, most people think Dixieland music just comes from the south and and uh, is is that kind of like carnival music which it is and it is pretty much uh, based you know down there in New Orleans and uh, Memphis Tennessee and in the, in the south but uh, it also uh, was a big boom in the San Francisco in the same time uh, with Mr. Lou Waters and the uh, Buena uh, Vista Social Club in San Francisco and so uh, the difference of Dixie and music is basically uh, they all solo at the same time. And so it, it, it's kind of a real example of how music, everyone can be a leader and, uh, and how they connect is just stay in key. And so this, this quote says, success equals wisdom plus courage plus discipline. Know what to do. Be brave enough to do it and lead yourself to doing it again and again. So a lot of that, uh, the wisdom is definitely to me, you got to cultivate that daily by uh, expressing yourself in, in some form that gives a reflection of yourself so you can see the uniqueness. I think wisdom comes out of your uniqueness and your vulnerability of, to have your originality. I think courage comes from doing things that are outside the box and things that you, in your mindset and your thoughts and, and things of how you've been raised, how you can't do that. So definitely push the envelope and get that courage. And then I think discipline, at least comes from me, comes from passion. I get a lot of discipline because I love what I do and uh, I think from and I think from the results of where I want it to land. And then uh, I have to just have the discipline to go there and... Uh, um, especially a lot of the arts do that because especially visual arts and traditional visual arts like you do it and uh, the outcome if the outcome's not coming back in, in your desired thing you know then uh, the only way to really get there is discipline to uh, keep going in there and exploring and doing it your way and find a unique way because I always uh, give people in most of the arts and most of the things you express yourself in life you know you, you got to find your sweet spot and a lot of that is is uh, going out on a limb and not just standing on the edge of the pool 
jump in and, and, and see if it's hot or cold or, or what it is. And, uh, and then the bravery comes from doing it over and over again and uh, seeing the success and, and, and then being able to share your love, your expression with everyone. And then you'll be leading yourself and you can just do it again and again and again. So a lot of it is just a lot of what I call calibrating or fine tuning. And I, you know, everyone can't do it, but I think it's, it's why they're called the humanities, which is the fine arts. And, and I don't think they necessarily always have to be a profession, you know, where, where, where you make your livelihood. Um, a lot of it is to be your livelihood. So, you know, express yourself, find your originality in it and, uh, Put it forth and uh, see where it takes you and then always connect with other people. And success equals wisdom plus courage plus discipline and know what you do. Be brave enough to do it. Be who you be. Funko Fied and free. Thank you for watching the video. See you soon.